Hi there. If you're new here, my name is Lindsay. I do sell part-time on Poshmark and also uh, The Real Real. I post videos of my mystery unboxings every Monday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. And don't forget to hit the like button for me if you enjoy the video. So today I'm going to be opening two sleepwear boxes from Thread Up. It's been a little bit since I've opened one of these. My last sleepwear box video was about four months ago. So before I get into the opening, I just wanted to give you an update on what sold from those prior two boxes. So again, it's been about four months since that video went live. Um, the first box that I had opened in that video was from Phoenix. I got four items in it. I've sold two of the four for a total of $23.05. So I still need to sell um, about $8.74 to make my money back, which I should do once um, both of those sell. Um, these boxes do run $31.79 um, all in with tax and shipping. The base cost of the box is $24, so it doesn't qualify for the free shipping. Um, which I, I need to spend 29 in order for it to ship free. The second box did much better. Um, that one was from Mechanicsburg. There was actually five items in the box. I only showed four in the video because there was a pair of underwear that was kind of hidden under the tissue that I didn't find until after I had already recorded. But all five of those items have sold and I made a profit on that box of $69.26. So very good. Um, not a huge profit potential um, with this box, but with the cost of goods, you have a great chance of making something. Um, and they've been decent, um, the ones that I've received. So um, that one from Phoenix that I have two items left to sell. Um, one I actually haven't even listed yet. It kind of made it over to my death pile. Um, it's a Victoria's Secret romper. And then the other is an Alomi bra, which I think I have listed pretty high, so that'll more than get a profit once that does eventually sell. So let's go ahead and see what we got. Um, both of the boxes came from Georgia today. I think they're taped along the side on both of them. So especially if you get bras or, you know, pajamas that are new with take, they're very easy to list. And this I haven't had for too long. I ordered it on July 11th, um, $24. You do get four pieces usually. Sometimes it may be one extra if it's part of the set. There's a first look. There's something kind of silky and feathery on top. It is a robe and it's brand new with the tag. So that's good. Um, this is um, Nasty Gal. It's a champagne colored feather trim dressing gown. There is not a price on it, but it should be easy to look up. Um, so just like a satin feel robe and then it has this fur trim. So really cute. Um, it is a shorter robe. Um, the trim looks like it's coming off on this one though. Unless it just buttons down. Yeah, there is a button here. So hopefully this can be put back on there because I imagine that the fur trim would be difficult to wash with on the robe. So hopefully it's still functional. I'll have to look into that and see if I can fix it. Um, if that's broken, that's definitely unfortunate. Um, and then it does have the sash here. So I will look into that one. And next we have a pink camisole. Um, this is Victoria's Secret Medium. This looks like it's probably a vintage item. Um, definitely not the tag that they currently have on their pieces. Um, but it's pretty, just a light pink lace camisole and lace trim on the bottom. So I think that should do pretty good. 
especially with it being a vintage item. Next we have Exquisite Form. Um, this is like a little bustier. And it is, let's see if we can find the size on there. Not sure about that brand, if it's anything good. It's a 42B. So that should be easy to look up more information since it's brand new. And then lastly, we have another bra. And this is a wire-free uh, Waco is the brand, and it's a 42 Double D. And that one has a $62 tag on it. So that um, is pretty good as well. So overall, I think this box was pretty good as long as the robe can be fixed. But even if not, um, between these three items, I should be able to easily make my money back. And then if the robe can be fixed, that'll be a good bonus. So we'll move those to the side and take a look at the second one and see if they're comparable or if there's one that stands out and is a better box. I think in general, um, the ones I've seen from Mechanics Store tend to be better. At least in my experience, what I got from there was quite a bit better than the other ones. And this I ordered the same day, I believe, July 11th. Here's another look at the box. And we have a satin nightgown with lace. Very pretty. Um, this is Willow Blossom Hand Wash Intimates. It's a size small. It is 100% silk. I don't see a price on it, but it seems like it's um, nice quality. And this seems to be in good um, Nuitae condition. So very nice. I think that should definitely sell. Next, we have another bra. This is Victoria's Secret. It is also Nuitae a 34D, and this is um, a push-up bra with kind of that netting material. So that one should be um, pretty easy to sell, I would think. So very good. We have another Victoria's Secret piece. This is a size large, and it is um, just a satin, night shirt, long sleeve, and this pretty green color. It is not brand new, but I don't see any issues with it. Very pretty for, um, you know, the holiday season. And lastly, we have a bralette, or no, nope, it's actually a nightgown. And this is in Bloom by Gong, Gungal, Jungal. I'm not sure about that brand. Um, it's a size P, which I believe would be an extra small. Um, there's maybe some loose strings on it, but it looks like it's in good shape. I'm curious to look up that brand to see if it's anything good. It's very pretty. So um, yeah, let me know what you think um, was a better box. I think they were probably pretty comparable um, in the first box. Even with the robe, we still had a higher end bra in there. And then um, the two other pieces that were new with tag. Um, but to recap in this box, we have this pink nightgown, which again, I'm not sure about the brand. So that might be something good. We had the Victoria's Secret nightshirt the Victoria's Secret bra, 
and this um, silk nightgown. So that was box two. And box one, we had this bra, which is Wacol, brand new. We had this bra, and this is kind of like a bustier, like shaper, and that's ex exquisite form, new with tag. We had the vintage Victoria's Secret uh, camisole, and then we had the nasty gal robe. So um, let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, if you've tried this box, let me know how they've been. And I appreciate you watching and I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.